We'd like to thank Audible for supporting The Bright Sessions. For a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial, go to audible.com slash therapy or text therapy to 500-500. Yeah? Hey, where are you? I texted you. I'm, I'm in the gym. No, you're not. I'm standing in it right now. You're not here. Go down the hall. I'm in the football gym. The football gym? Yeah, it's, it's a couple of doors down. Oh, yep. There's a sign. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You guys have your own gym? Seriously, how did you not know about this? We've been dating for almost a year. Why the hell do you guys have your own gym? This is such a waste of money. You've never been in this part of the school, have you? I don't need to work out. I have you to do all the heavy lifting. So, what? You're, you're not here to spot me? I barely know what that means. Oh, thank God you're smart. Don't you mean cute? Yeah, that too. Same goes for you. Not many people could get me to come to school at 9 a.m. on a Saturday. You're the one who needed to talk. Yeah, I know. Uh, Annabelle's coming over for brunch today in like an hour. Shit, really? Mm. The birthday ambush actually worked? Well, I mean, it took a couple weeks, but yeah. My mom wants to give her another shot. And you? I don't know, Caleb. She's my family, and she seemed... I don't know, like maybe she was rethinking some stuff? Like the fact that she experiments on people? Maybe, I guess it's, uh, it's complicated. There's nothing complicated about hurting people. I know, you're right, I just... You love her. Yeah, and I think that maybe she could be better. I get that. Sometimes I just, I wish... What? I wish she wasn't immune to you. I thought we talked about me being used as a human mood ring. You love using your ability to figure things out, but yeah, I know. I know it's not a party trick, but you can't blame me for being curious, for wanting to know how she really feels. Yeah, I get it. I wish my ability worked on her too. Actually, sometimes I wish she just had my ability. You're skeptical. I didn't say anything. You never have to. Look, I, I know I'm an empath and I still hurt people, so it's not like it makes you automatically good. That's not what I'm skeptical about. I I'd like to think that she'd stop hurting people if she was like you, but a big part of me thinks that she'd just use it as another way to get ahead. Yeah, maybe. You're not you because of your ability, Caleb. What do you mean? All the stuff that you've been talking about with college and wanting to study psych or social work and do something that will help people, I know you. I know that there's a big part of you that feels like you have to do that because you're an empath. I mean, it does seem like a bit of a waste if I don't do anything with it. Yeah, but that's not why you're going to help people. Sure, maybe having the ability that you do will make it easier, but I know you'd help people no matter what. I just, I know you would. Your ability didn't make you. Thank you. For what? For believing in me. Always. It really matters. Yeah, of course. No, not of course. Not everyone would be this cool with their boyfriend being a total weirdo. Yeah, well, let's not find out what other people would do. I'm good with that. Should we talk about it? Talk about what? Graduation. We have talked about it. No, we've talked about how Rose dream spied on you singing a duet with me about your fears. You're never going to let me live that down, <laughs> are you? You're dreaming musicals, Caleb. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever heard, and I'm definitely never letting that go. I don't always dream in musicals. <laughs> for, look, for, look, for all we know, Rose is the one who always is dreaming in song. Are you still pissed at her? No, not really. I was never really that pissed. More just embarrassed, I guess, that she saw all that. Yeah, yikes. Probably a good thing that she didn't go in anyone else's head then, huh? Uh, I can't even imagine what that would be like. Yeah. What? I know she said she didn't when I asked, but I don't know. My BS buzzer went off a bit. Did Dr. Bright say anything about it when you talked to her? Mark or Sam would have told her, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Anyway, we're, we're cool now, I guess, but that's definitely the last time I fall asleep around her. Although, I mean, she pulled my brain into it, and I was awake. And yeah, I, I didn't really know what was happening. It's not like I was in your dream, but still, that's 
freaky. <laughs> in her defense, she did say that's never happened before, and I know she was telling the truth about that. Yeah, something about the combo of her dreamwalking and your empathy. That's what Dr. Bright thinks. Well, whatever happened, it's nice to have an explanation for why I had a song I'd never heard before stuck in my head. Sorry that being my boyfriend is so weird sometimes. Eh, keeps me on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just, that's something that you say. Oh my god, I can't believe you're that predictable. Well, that's it. You know me too well. The romance is dead. <laughs> Such a shame. God, now I'm going to be wondering if I'm saying that stuff because I think it or if because your dream got into my subconscious. Nah, I, I don't think so. I think you were just there at the end of it. Like, I was feeling your feelings, and so it was like dream version you became more real or something. Plus the fact that you and Dr. Bright were talking about you and me at the same time. It's just a weird timing thing, I guess. Right. Look, stop being so worried about it. We'll figure it out. I mean, I mean, I don't even know where I'm going to school yet. I know you've got a lot of great options, so... Yeah? I don't want you making a decision based on how close to Yale you can be. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to, I, I promise. I'm trying to not even think of it as a factor. Okay, that's good. What's going on? Like, wh why are you feeling guilty. Is that what it is? You don't know? I just feel weird about going to Yale. What are you talking about? It's, it's your dream. I know, but Annabelle went there, you know, and that's why I fell in love with it in the first place. And I, I always looked up to her and I thought that going to the school that she went to would help me to be just like her. That's not why you're going. You, you love it for lots of reasons. You've spent hours telling me those reasons. It's not just because of Annabelle. Yeah, I guess. Look, if I'm not just my ability, then you're not just your family. We're, you know, our own people. I'm just worried about leaving, I guess, aren't you? Hell yes. I'm, I'm going to be living in a dorm this fall. Do you know how much I am not looking forward to that? Oh, shit, I didn't even think about that. Oh, you're going to have a roommate, one who's not related to you. I know. Uh, do you think you could get, like, I don't know, like, special permission to get, like, a single? And tell them what? That sharing a room with a stranger might be hard because I have a superpower? I don't know. Tell them you have socialization issues. Because what better way to make friends than putting myself into solitary confinement because of socialization issues? I just know that being around new emotions all the time is going to be really hard for you. And, well, you won't be around. Yeah. I know. Shouldn't you be getting back to brunch? Shit, yeah, probably. Um, hey, would would you give her another chance? Like if she were your aunt? I honestly don't know. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Not your family, not your problem. You want to forgive her. I, I can feel that. So, I don't know, maybe try. Yeah, I'll try. And I'll see you later, right? Definitely. Hey, don't work out too hard. Someone's got to carry your dead weight around. Uh -huh. Love you. Love you too. Hey, Caleb, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Is Mark around? He's out grocery shopping, but he should be back soon. Or soonish. He loves grocery shopping, the nerd, so it could actually be a little while. Do you want to come in? Yeah, sh sure. Thanks. So what's up? Uh, I was on my way home from the gym and just thought I'd drop by. Is, is that okay? Yeah, of course. You know you're always welcome. Wow, there's a lot more boxes in here than last time. Oh, yeah. Jonah's been moving a lot of files out of her office. She's consolidating. What does that mean? She doesn't have as many clients as she used to, so she's been working out of here with me more and more. Yeah, I guess all of us kind of... Yeah. <laughs> like, half her patients have done semi-illegal things for or around her, so, you know. Yeah. Is it going well? The whatever it is you're calling it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going all right. 
it's slow. We definitely still don't have a name, and I don't know. It's hard to get concrete research without the AM's resources. But you're going back in time, right? To learn about atypicals through history and stuff? I think that's awesome. Yeah, but in terms of things that are more immediate... You mean Chloe, don't you? She's doing better. I talked to her yesterday, and she says she's learned a lot from Mr. Chandeval. And he actually might have some research himself that he's willing to share with me. It sounds like her headaches are almost completely gone, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't have anything to worry about, but if it happened again or something else... Anyway, how are you doing? Well, I'm fucking stressed now. Oh, God, sorry. I'm really not all that fun to be around, am I? For, for you, I mean... You're definitely operating on a different level from everyone else, stress-wise. Yeah. But it's, it's not always bad. I mean, I, I feel focused around you. Like, I'm hyper aware of everything around me, you know? Mm, yeah, that would be the fear-fueled survival instinct. <laughs> Constant vigilance? Something like that. So, uh, did you come over to talk to Mark about something specific? Huh? Oh, I... Yeah, um, I, I did. Right. Well, I don't know when he'll be back, so... Anything I can help with? Yeah, maybe. Um... Okay, so Adam and I are hanging out tonight. Date night? Sort of. I don't know. We, we don't really do those. I'm, I'm not sure we've ever been on, like, real dates. I, I mean, we went out for Valentine's Day, sort of, and we had dinner for his birthday, but that was with his parents. But uh, anyway, that's... Sorry, that's not the point. Uh, tonight isn't... Yeah, no, t- tonight isn't like a, like a formal date or anything. Okay... But I want to ask him to prom. Oh. Oh, that's great. That'll be really fun. Sure. If he says yes. You think he might not? I don't know. We we haven't talked about it. I don't usually like school events like that. Oh, sure. That makes sense. All those people. Yeah. Last time I went to a dance, I got kicked out for nearly decking a guy. Right. So, you know, I, I don't think Adam expects to go or anything. It's not like he's ever been Mr. School Spirit. But you want to go, even though school dances aren't your thing? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, it's it's prom. We, we can't miss prom, right? I'm sure he'll feel the same way. I hope so. Still, I, I need to figure out how to ask him. What do you mean? Well, you know, people make a big deal out of it, the, the whole promposal thing. I'm sorry, the what? What, you guys didn't do that? It's not like you were in high school 100 years ago. I doubt it's changed that much. I actually have been to a high school 100 years ago. Or, well, what passed as a high school back then. But, um, no. I I did my junior and senior years homeschooled, you know, after my parents. Oh, right. That's why I want to talk to Mark, huh? Ask him advice? Yeah, he's sort of the only person I know who might have experience with this kind of thing. I I texted Rose, but I guess her brother Aaron started dealing with his telepathy when she was a senior. And she kind of missed out on a lot of stuff with... You know, all the family drama. Right, makes sense. Yeah, I guess family drama is pretty standard for atypicals. But you don't have a lot of family drama, do you? No. But Adam's family more than makes up for it. Right. It's okay. You can ask. I know you want to. How is dear Aunt Annabelle? He's having brunch with her right now. Really? Yep. You know, she stopped by Joan's office the other week. Wait, seriously? Mm Mm-hmm. Talking about self-doubt and all sorts of stuff, apparently. Huh. Maybe she can really change that. She had a similar conversation with Adam. Yeah, maybe. You don't... You don't think so? For Adam's sake, I hope she can. But, I don't know, our track record of bad people changing their behaviors is not great. Yeah. You haven't heard from him, right? Nope. Nope. Radio silence, thank God. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Caleb? I still think about it sometimes. Hurting him. I mean, I mean, I fucking ruined his life. You saved Adam's. And in a lot of ways you saved Mark's too. I know that, but I still wish I hadn't done it. I, I, I had to. I know that, but... I hate that I did it without really meaning to. I, I hate that I know what it's like to hurt someone like that. that. That I know what someone's jaw feels like when it's... Fuck, when it's breaking under my fist. That I, that I know the sound a rib makes when it cracks. I, I can't... Yeah. 
You don't pity me. Do you want me to? No. No, def- definitely not. It's just anytime I talk about it, that's what I feel. F- from my parents, from, from Dr. Bright, from Adam even. They feel bad for me. And I, I hate that. I hate being pitied so fucking much, but but you don't pity me. I know what it's like to lose control. Does this feeling ever go away? Which one? Guilt, fear, anger, disgust. I, I don't know. <laughs> Take your pick. Honestly? Yeah. No. Uh, but but it's different for you. It wasn't just a random accident. Demon provoked you. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he is pretty much fine. He might be powerless, but as far as I can tell, not a lot else changed. That's why you think Annabelle won't change. Because even after all that, he didn't. I don't know, Caleb. I'm not sure I know enough about people to make a judgment. Dr. Bright did a lot of sketchy stuff at first, right? And she's... she's cool now. That's true. If I've learned anything in the past year, it's that people aren't just good or bad. So maybe... Why do you... Why do you feel scared? Is Dr. Bright doing sketchy stuff again? No, no, nothing like that. She's... She's one of the good ones. Then why? It's nothing. Just me. Yeah, I'm always scared. Right. Do you want some hot chocolate? It's April. I know, but I'm trying to get good at making it. Mark loves it. Are you willing to be a guinea pig? Yeah, sure. Hot chocolate sounds good. Okay, I still don't understand the problem. Why can't you just ask him outright? Seriously? You, you've you never heard of anyone making a thing of asking someone to prom? Sure, sure. I, I think people did cards or flowers or things like that, but I certainly never made a fuss. Really? Well, my junior year, I was asked to senior prom by Stacy Robinson. Ooh, asked by a senior. That's a big deal, right? Totally a big deal. It was fun, but she just asked in the hall between classes. There was no big to-do. Well, what about your senior year? Well, my senior year, I made a bit of a scandal because I went with my best friend. Okay. My male best friend. Oh. Was that Josh? Yeah, Josh. He came out as gay, and I knew I didn't just like girls at that point, so we decided, why the hell not? School didn't really know what to make of it. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, yeah, we did. There was no big ask or big expectations or anything. But we danced and tried being actual dates. It was fun, but a little weird, you know? I don't think either of us really liked each other that way. I don't know. I think we thought we sort of owed it to ourselves to try. Wait, but I thought you weren't out until college. I wasn't. Not not really. My parents thought it was all just one of my big dumb jokes, and most of my classmates couldn't really wrap their heads around... Me liking girls and also taking a dude to prom. People are dumb. Yes. Yes, they are. So, like, no ideas on how I can ask Adam? Do you think he's expecting a big thing? I don't know. The past few weeks of school, there's there's been all these, like, major prom proposals every fucking day. It's, it's like you can't turn a corner without being hit by, like, a serenade or a tower of cupcakes or some shit. That must be fun for you. It's like being trapped in some weird Hallmark card. Like like Cupid is actually hitting me with arrows everywhere I fucking go. Yikes. Yeah, it sucks. I'm just, I'm so glad that college doesn't have prom, you know? Have you made a decision yet? No, not yet. Well, wherever you go, you're gonna have a great time. College is a blast. Yeah? Absolutely. I can't speak to the campus experience, really, because, well, I got special permission to do a lot of my classes remotely from home. How do you swing that? Forged a bunch of medical paperwork claiming a whole slew of mental and physical ailments that kept me indoors. Uh, in retrospect, I don't feel great about it, but it was the only thing I could think of doing at the time. I wanted to get my degree. I had to. It was in the conditions of the trust my parents left for me, but I, I knew I couldn't go to big lectures or live in a dorm. I was traveling, like, at least twice a day at that point, so I did what I had to. But all that aside, I loved college. Spending all day learning stuff, the independence, it's a really fun time. Yeah, I guess. Sometimes I wish there was some sort of, like, atypical college, you know? Ooh, I think you're alone there, buddy. I would not have been able to handle that. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's that's fair. But, I don't know, it'd be nice not to worry about that kind of stuff. I mean, 
God, Sam, I can't even imagine that. Your whole life has been controlled by your ability. And sorry, fuck, I didn't, I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm sorry. It's okay, I, Caleb. I, I'm always well aware of how depressing my life sounds when I talk about it. But don't worry, I've been working hard to make up for lost time. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. It's Joni. Says she's gonna come by here in a bit with some more boxes. Good lord, how is there more? <laughs> I think that some of them are from her apartment. That woman hoards information like you wouldn't believe. <sighs> well, I guess it makes sense to have it all in one place. Yeah, speaking of, I should probably move some of my stuff upstairs. The office is already way too cluttered. I can get out of your guys' hair if you're busy. Don't worry about it. It's always like this. It's Grand Central Station in here. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, has he, like, moved in? Not exactly. Nothing official. Just, he's settling in, I guess. He... He really loves you, you know? What? I know you worry about that. I can feel it. It's it's like you're always a second from running out the door. No, no, I'm, I'm but not. But you don't have to worry. Like, he really loves you, Sam. Oh. Well, that's... Thank you, Caleb. Human mood ring, reporting for duty. Does someone want to grab the door for me? I got it. Hey, Dr. Bright. Caleb, what are you doing here? Just stopping by. Well, it's lovely to see you. Do you need a hand? It's all right. I got it. Should we start following these away? Might as well. Uh, I should probably get headed home. Thanks for coming by. It was really good to talk. Yeah, it was. And hey, good luck tonight. You don't need a big thing. Just ask. I'm sure you'll hit it out of the park. Yeah, okay. What was that about? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm going to ask Adam to prom. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, people sometimes do big promposals, prom what? but I think I'm going to keep it simple. That sounds like a good idea. So, uh, you guys are really going ahead with this whole rival AM thing, huh? That's the plan. Or the long-term plan, anyway. We're still figuring it out. Why are you worried? What's wrong? Nothing. That's a lie. You're, you're not the person who's always worried about stuff. That's Sam. Oh, it, is it Sam you're worried about? You're getting better at this, you know? Identifying the subtlest shifts in emotions. It's very impressive. Stop avoiding the question. I just wonder if this is the best thing for her. She's distracted. I don't want her to make any rash decisions. What do you mean? I spent a lot of my life hiding things from the people I loved. Lying and spying. And it was the wrong choice. I don't want to see her make the same mistake. Oh. What is it? We were talking earlier about how sometimes good people can do bad things, and Sam got scared. I think she's worried, too, about what she's doing. Huh. Well, that's a comfort, I guess. Yeah. I'm sorry, Caleb. I shouldn't be discussing this with you. Why the hell not? I'm not your patient anymore. I'm, I'm going to be an adult soon. And I... I want to be involved. Really? Yeah, I, I was actually thinking, like, if you guys needed help over the summer or anything, I could lend a hand. You'd want to? Yeah, like an internship or something, you know? I didn't know you were interested in research. I don't know that I am, really, but I am interested in helping people, helping people like me. And I don't know, maybe other people too, but atypicals seem like a, well, it seems like a good place to start. That's a lovely idea. But... I'm not sure we're the right avenue for that. Who would be? That's a fair point. Let's see where we are after your graduation. You're still coming, right? If your parents are still alright with it. Yeah, they're cool. Then I wouldn't miss it for the world. Cool. 
Awesome. All right. Uh, well, I got to go home and shower and stuff. Right. Big date. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never seem to need it with Adam, but thanks. Bye, Caleb. Bye, Dr. Bright. So, how was it? It was okay. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it was super tense at first, but I don't know, everyone relaxed into it, I guess. Because your parents are such relaxed people. Annabelle actually apologized, which none of us really saw coming, I think. But yeah, she apologized for putting me in danger and for not paying attention to what she was doing. What does that mean? I don't really know. I, I think she might feel bad about some of the work that she's done at the AM, and she said that she's rethinking her next steps. What next steps? I have no idea, and honestly, I was a little too scared to ask. Yeah, I get that. But I don't know. I, I kind of think things might be different now okay well that's that's good yeah anyway uh what movie are we watching right uh so i borrowed funny face and uh an american in paris (laughs) the education continues exactly (laughs) oh hey uh listen before we start the movie i want to give you something okay here oh sweet is this another mix yeah but this one's a little different than the others What do you mean? Here's the card or whatever that goes with it. You're such a dork, always putting little notes for each song. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, I do. I kept the notes for the first mix you gave me in my jacket pocket for like a month. I'd pull it out and read it all the time. No, you didn't. I'm serious. God, you're so cheesy. You're the one who's writing love letters to me in playlists, Adam. Whatever. This one's a little more specific. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, the first letter of every song, they spell out something. Oh, look at you, valedictorian. God, don't jinx it. Nothing's decided all yet. All right, all right. Let's see what we have here, okay? First letter, Y, O, U, me, prom. So, what do you say? Are you asking me to prom? Duh. Oh, oh, it's cool if you want to say no. I know that school events can be a lot for you, but I just figured I'd ask. If you, if you don't want to go, we can just do something else that night. Like go for dinner or something. Else. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm so mad at you right now. What? Why? Because you beat me to it. Of course I want to go. I've been obsessing over how to ask you. Really? Yeah, I was over talking to Sam and Mark for like half the afternoon trying to come up with something. <laughs> oh my God, you're ridiculous. So, is that a yes? Yes, it's a yes. It's always a yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. Audiobooks are great for helping you be a better you. For our audience, Audible is offering a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial. If you want to listen to it, Audible has it. Just go to audible.com therapy or text therapy to 500-500 and browse their unmatched selection of audio content. Download a title free and start listening. It's that easy. Millions of Audible members access performances by entertainers, magazines, and amazing narrators. For instance, you can download an Audible bestseller, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. I really enjoyed this book. It's a counterintuitive approach to living a better life that is less about positive thinking for positivity's sake and more about finding what you care about and not giving a fuck about the rest. In short, I think it's a book that Caleb would really enjoy. You too can learn how to be happier and zero in on what's really important by listening to The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck today on Audible. And your books are yours to keep. With Audible, you can go back and re-listen anytime, even if you cancel your membership. Get Mark Manson's candid book, narrated by Roger Wayne, or any audiobook for free with a 30-day free trial at audible.com slash therapy, or text therapy to 500-500. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash therapy, or text therapy to 500-500. Episode 52 was written and directed by Lauren Shippen and produced by Misha Stanton. In this episode, you heard the voices of Brigham Snow as Caleb, Alex Gallner as Adam, Lauren Shippen as Sam, Andrew Nowak as Mark, and Julia Morizawa as Dr. Bright. Our music is composed and performed by Evan Cunningham. If you'd like to hear Adam's promposal mix for Caleb, visit the bonus content section of our website or go to thebrightsessions.com slash promposal. 
For my personal notes on making this mix and all of the playlists for the show, both in-universe and not, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash The Bright Sessions. The Bright Sessions will return on May 2nd with episode 53. Until then, thanks for listening and stay strange. <laughs>